Now, as the world becomes more competitive, or let's say Uganda, it's the innovative minds that will be able to withstand the storm that comes with cutthroat competition. Our next entrepreneur is exactly that, who has mastered the principles of innovation in order to stay competitive. This is his story. Light is key in adding beauty to the world around us. And it is on this account that we see light being used in homes and on different occasions like weddings, candlelight dinners, stage performances, and also in public places like restaurants, hotels, to create a colorful atmosphere. However, having noticed the significance of light, Chisitu has used the opportunity as a platform to earn a living by designing different types of lights out of the glass bottles. I'm a designer of light. In the sense of filming, you can call me a cinematographer. I like to create special effects with light for filming, for performance, but also I make lights for a project that I manage in Katanga Slam where I empower other youth to make lights out of bottles from the example that I show them. And this helps them to earn some very much needed income. Of course, I also make lights for events and functions like at weddings. And the idea is to give a personalized light effect where people want to celebrate and express their love like for a wedding. To come up with such an innovative idea, he was inspired by nature. Of course I take a lot of inspiration from nature. Like uh, God has designed light in such a way that you can see its evidence on everything that you observe around your surrounding. Because nature and all the things that we see in life come to life because we see the evidence of light on them. So. The extension of this inspiration comes into my work and then I'm able to complement what nature has already done so well with something that is artificial but blending and very compatible. He explains how he gets different illusions of light. Yeah, to get different illusions of light, I mix the effect of glass with color to give me different, like a wide range of colors, okay? So glass always comes handy because it is a good reflector of light. But sometimes to make the light stronger coming off the glass, I also use backgrounds with velvet because velvet is a good absorber of light. Ever since he started the light business, this entrepreneur has worked with some hotels, restaurants, and also with some music artists. I've only been doing like say, music videos for very few artists, but the few that have used them, I think they were able to get something unique. I've done some lights for a few hotels, like uh, Ivy's Hotel. I've also done some lights for Cayenne Restaurant. And I'm open to work with people also who are experimenting and want to try my lights. Music artists have used some of my lights in their background, like um, Jackie Chandiru and Rabadaba. Despite the consummation, there are also some challenges. Okay, like right now, the challenge I could have is I'm not yet able to access the outside market because I'd love to be able to export and so far, it is not so easy to find a company that can work with me to export these items because they are very fragile and also because they have a power component, security concerns and the suspicion that maybe a light could have something explosive. So those are some of the challenges I'm still working out. But Regardless of the uniqueness of his lights, they can be affordably acquired. For as little as 50,000, 100, up to 150,000, you can get a good set of bottle lamps and I can have this made in just two days. Yeah, so they come with uh, very small bulbs that are one watt, so they do not heat and they can create the kind of ambience that you want. I can give you different colors as you would like and it's up to you to tell me the color range and then how you want me to customize because I do some artwork on the bottle. It could be your name, it could be a poem, anything that you want to illustrate and express through your order. As a mastermind of this innovation, Chesito has big future plans. Yeah, my future plan is to create the biggest possible museum of light in Eastern Central Africa.